Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and Hey 2 and on today a special request video for somebody in our comment section related to the MSI Clutch GM11 mouse. Now the question was, how do you actually adjust the settings for the side buttons? And uh, I thought it was quite a simple one and it's not quite as simple as I first imagined. So you can go into some of the basic settings in the Windows mouse functionality. Just go into mouse, type in mouse on the search bar and you can go in and choose things like your cursor speed, etc., and scroll lines, but it doesn't give you any real depth for changing things like your DPI and also the mouse function wheels and also the side buttons, all that kind of stuff. So what you'll need for that is the MSI Dragon Center. Now, I've already got it pre-installed, but if you haven't, then you'll need to go to the MSI website, search for your particular device. So we're using the GM11, but this applies for all of the mice in the uh, MSI range currently, so GM11, GM30, GM50, etc etc so find the actual device and you'll find you've got options for download manual and specification so we want to head over to download and in the download this all looks uh, very familiar so choose your operating system we're windows 10 64 bit and it will basically give you the option for installing the msi dragon center when you install it you'll need to install it and then set it up to run as administrator for the first time. Then it will install the SDKs and all that kind of usual stuff. Once you've done that, then you can close down all these windows and head over to Dragon Center, which is in the taskbar. Double click on it to wake it up. Then probably on your home page, you'll have a similar look to this. You may have slightly more applications here. If you want to see how to de-bloat this section, then you can click on the video up in the top right hand corner. And there's a section where we show you how to kind of limit this. So you've got two options. You can go to gaming gear, which uh, you can go into directly. So if you've got a mouse, keyboard, headset, etc., these should all ap appear in here. So you can go to it this way, click on mouse, and it goes in. You've got the sensor, buttons, etc. Um, alternately, if you want to, you can actually, from the top here, you've got MSI device. So click on the down arrow, and it will bring up any compatible devices, such as the GM11 in our particular instance. So again, that goes in and basically does the same sort of thing. So in the main settings, so if you want to change the button configurations, you've got obviously button 1, button 2, and it highlights them as you can see. Button 3 is your center click on the mouse wheel. Button 4 is your backwards, and 5 is forward, so the side buttons. The question actually asked in the comment section was actually about these side buttons, so we'll uh, check those out. So let's say, for instance, the uh, backwards button. So if you want to change it, then you've got the option here, so you can either have it as a default, which takes it back to its default setting. You've got option for mouse buttons. So if you click mouse buttons, then you've got the option for button left, button right, button M, backwards, forward, scroll up, scroll down. If none of those take your fancy, then you can go to multimedia and you've got options for play, pause, stop, pre-track, next track, mute, volume down and volume up. Also, you can choose to select your DPI from there if you wish to, or you can disable the button in its entirety. So if you're playing certain games and you're finding that your fingers are accidentally hitting, you can disable it altogether. There isn't a great deal else you can do other than that. Any other further customizations, so say for instance you want to set it to reload in a particular game, then you're better off actually doing that in the specific game itself and saving that as your personal profile. But if you want to maybe just set, say for instance, the uh, DPI button and Quite handy one for me, I think, is multimedia and have that just set to mute so you can quickly mute whatever is actually on your system. That actually doubles up really well. So you can do that, click apply, and then whenever I click in the middle button, as you can see, it just mutes down here. And hopefully it didn't just mute my microphone. That would be awkward. Anyway, there is a, a quick overview on how to use the Dragon Center for your GM11 and other MSI mice. Hope this video has been useful. If it has, don't forget to give it a like and click on subscribe if you want to see more content like this on a regular basis. So I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll be catching you in the next video. Thanks for watching.